Fellow Nigerians, I don't know about you, but the week started for me on a normal note. I had looked forward to my routine life of activities. Little did I envisage the big news ahead. Government backed, government style gangsterism, no less descended on us without warning. No journalist could have, you know, anticipated such multiple events in any single week. But this is Nigeria. A country that is always action-packed like a Chinese movie. I had always told anyone who cares to listen that Nigeria parades some of the smartest security operatives in the world and I am not making this up or being patronizing to our men and women of the armed forces. I have had the privilege to interact with some of them while on peace you know keeping missions in Syria alone and Libya, where they overpowered the rebels that threatened to collapse those West African countries. I witnessed firsthand how our men and women were warmly received and very well respected. I was always proud to visit them and take pictures to display to the outside world. Those countries are externally grateful to Nigeria, so you can imagine how embarrassing it becomes that the same security guys who got Ralph's review and accolades abroad returns home to popular acclaim only to find out that their successors have acquired notoriety for their inability to take the battle to the doorstep of bandits and over ambitious terrorists in order to overwhelm the miscreant. It has been a sad tale indeed. What we now see on television and social media platforms are pitiable caricatures of the good old soldiers of yesteryears. And to make matter worse, some of us started fighting the Jonathan government principally because it fails to curtail the excesses of terrorists and bandits. The hand came when the cheaper girls were adopted and the whole world rose in unison to offer solidarity to the people of Chipok in particular and Nigeria in general. As a result of this, the candidacy of Major General Muhammad Buhari became more attractive and you know, absolutely compelling. We were sold on the fat hope that as a former dreaded military chieftain who had become a rifles and you know, a subdued of turning the you know the toga of a politician Buhari would wipe out insurgency in matter of months if not weeks but we now later find out to know that you know we were being sold a dooming and chipo girls saga would soon become like child's play Let's fast forward and conclude, you know, this important preamble very quickly. Six years later, after Buhari attained power, you know, not much has changed. To be candid, things have got worse and spiraled, you know, out of control. I will be charitable to say that the Boko Haram manis has definitely improved as these popular insurgents have been, you know, pegging back a bit and their activities are less worrisome whether that is because of the success of the government in you know overpowering them or simply that there is now you know bigger fish in the pond to you know contend with i cannot immediately say what is your thought about this probably this are led to you know the present insecurity that has become the other day in nigeria and also kidnapping for ransom that has become you know the main thing bedeviling the country this has led to you know different agitations and these agitations have obviously irritated our president and he has finally come out you know of his gilded you know concum to declare a blustering war on the perceived you know, rebels including their leaders such as Mazin Andikanu and chief Sunday Igboho Adeyemo it is to these you know two maverick gentlemen Nabdekanu and Sunday Buho 
that I wish to turn this weekend. The unpalatable events of the past week surrounding them portend every you know, greater danger for our continued existence as a nation that the agitation for you know separate nationhood which you know it claims that are you know fomenting Kano's case is much more complicated he was visiting nigeria on holiday only to have that holiday turned into a nightmare by you know supervening event he had been arrested charged for treasoning amongst other offenses by the nigerian government granted bail by the court and then you know vamos into tiny air following a violence you know calamitous and fatal raid on his you know a central family home in his village since then he has been a most wanted man by the omnipotent nigerian administration of president muhammad buhari but in fairness to him he didn't have many options you know the gastapo fashion in which his premises was invaded much have been responsible for his sudden disappearance which wouldn't if you know who wouldn't disappear probably in face of such violence assaults knowing that your government did not merely want to kill you they you know they wanted you very dead what is your thought about this honestly even if it is you you know you probably might have done even something worse than what Namdi Kanu have done because who would not disappear in the face of such you know violence when you know fully well that the government does not only want you dead but you know they are trying all their possible best to make sure that you don't even stay alive after a while when nobody knew whether you know Kanu was dead or alive he suddenly resurfaced in the holy city of Jerusalem his ionic statue grew even more and his martyrdom seems assured even though he was alive his regular broadcast you know became more you know strident and impassioned and it was not too long before my you know habit followers started demanding that i interview this impressible you know evidence it is obvious that Namdi Kano is a responsible man due to the response he gave when I asked, you know, asked him how he hoped, you know, to get a Biafra nation without another civil war. His response was so brilliant and it connotes that he really knows what he is doing. His response was that referendum will say to that. On this, I appreciated the fact that he was not, you know, irredeemable pinning his hopes and strategies on fighting a war. What is your thought about this? I'd like you to share your own point of view with us on what I've been saying. I'd like you to share your own, you know, thought about the present situation of things in Nigeria. We have heard from Dili Momodo, who have reacted to the present situation of Nigeria and said, you know, Nigeria is a country that is action-packed like a Chinese movie. Even you know, a journalist could not have anticipated such multiple events in just a single week. What is your thought about this series of things are happening in nigeria it has you know make nigeria to become you know a power pack movie that is you know just like an action movie of the you know chinese which is always full of action every day in nigeria is action full what is your thought about this we'd like you to drop your thought and comment on what i've said but before we go let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this Guests reacted to this and said Nigeria made a mistake by voting APC into power, especially Buhari. Fulani is, you can stop us. What is your thought about this? We have had guests saying that, you know, Nigerians made a mistake by voting APC into power, especially Buhari. What is your thought about this? Honestly, this present administration has frustrated the efforts of the civilians and this has made them to lose interest in the you know, present APC government. APC is not, you know, the dream, you know, party of which the Nigerians want. But assuming the, you know, the APC government has done what is expected of them, everybody will like APC. Everybody will want to become, you know, a member of APC. But look at what the APC government has done to Nigeria. According to what guest said, said Nigeria made a mistake by voting APC. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to this? This needs to be done. You know, fast about the present situation of things, or else things even more worse 
than this will start to come up. We need to start to tackle the present situation of things in Nigeria so that we can have a wonderful country and all these agitations left and right, you know, we have to go through in legal route and we will be free from all this kind of, you know, criminal act, criminals hiding behind tribal grievance, you know, to commit criminality for selfish, you know, their selfish motives. All this we have to stop. What is your thought about this? I'd like you to share your own point of view with us on this that has been said. We can see that according to what Daily Momodo have said, that you know, Nigeria Week, you know, probably has turned to you know, James Bond movies, which is always full of actions. What is your thought about this? We'd like you to share your point of view via the comment section. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not, and I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.